Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sly Jesse here and today we're checking out CS Money, which is cs.money, that's the domain name. Uh, if you want to check it out, the link's in the description because there are phishing websites which will steal your account if you Google it and click on the ads because, you know, some people are just real scummy people. But if you want the official website, link will be in the description because I don't want anyone to get scammed by going to this website after watching this and accidentally clicking on the wrong link. So... What this website is, is it is a trading website where you can trade your skins, you can deposit money and whatnot, and then you can take out other skins. So for example, I could put in this orb and just say it costs $12,600 or something stupid like that. I could pull out this uh, sapphire knife, okay? But obviously, I'm not spending $12,600 on a knife. Um, but we're going to go a bit more in depth to it. We're going to have a look at... Um, what you can do so you can trade you can look at their store you can deposit so i'm going to deposit a skin or trade over a skin so you guys can see what happens there i've already got 24 dollars in my balance up the top right hand corner there that's uh, my yes right yes right it is my right and then i'll show you prime now if you sign up using my link you can get five days worth of prime currently for free uh so prime's a paid part of this website uh, we'll actually have a look at it right now, so I can just knock it out of the way. So, if you come and you use my link in the description, you can actually try this Prime for free. We're just going to go choose a plan and have a look what what it has. And in Prime, if you're to pay nine dollars a month or five days free, which I just told you about, you get the full 3D skin builder, which lets you check out the skins. You got um, the technical support of a Prime version. It doesn't really explain it, but it's obvious that that's the uh, upgraded version of the standard version. And then you get a lower cash out commission, which isn't in yet because you can't cash out yet, but it's 10% lower once they actually implement it. And then you just got the uh, store discount and commission trades lower. And then they got this third one, the Trader Plus, but they don't have that yet. And so I'm not going to really talk about that because, you know, things can change by then. So they've got a brand new layout, and this is a lot different than what it used to look. I, I like this, it's a lot more cleaner, like way, way more cleaner, personally. But, so, I am going to look for an item. So I'm going to deposit one of these two orbs here. You can see the prices are different, and that's because the floats are different. So this one here is 0 0.085. And this one is 0 0.083, so 0 0.002 of a difference. Makes this one 28 more cents. 28 cents more, I should have said. Um, but we can use this filter here, and we're going to filter out what we want. So obviously the price is, if I add it together, 39.94 if we use the most expensive orb. So I'm going to click that to add that to what I'm going to trade over, so that's an extra $15.94 on top of that $24. And here is a list. Now, I want it sorted by price because I want the most expensive to the least expensive. So it shows us different items here, and as you can see, some have got a plus and then a certain percent. Now, those ones are more, that's how much it is on top of the uh average price that they have so if we were to search for this skin specifically we'd find ones that are 11 12 dollars 13 dollars around that range um so we want to ignore these ones or well, i want to anyway so if we were to trade something right over be almost exactly the same amount is this m4a1s dark water uh, it's available to trade now so some items you get aren't available right at that point. So they'll have up to a seven day trade lock. You notice that you have that whenever you purchase a weapon on the Steam Marketplace or you unbox it from a container, I think they're called now. I always call them cases, but they're actually called something like containers. Hmm. Weapon container or something. Anyway, <laughs> off my uh, little rant. I'm actually just going to look at the stat track version of things and I want to have a factory new just to see what there is because personally I like the factory new stat track because I think they look the cleanest and obviously they are because they're the newest and uh, they count your kills. And let's see. 
I want to exclude the user items. So this should be the custom priced ones here. There we go, perfect. This is what I wanted to see. So we've got an AK here. Um, I've got a nice ump already, so I'm not going to bother with that. Now, these look very nice. Uh, yep. Ooh, all this one here. Deagles. I don't think that one looks too bad. I might actually just grab that. And as you can see, that only costs 35 rounding up when we have 37, that's right, 37 or something. So what happens is if we trade this over, we will actually keep the balance if we've got a balance, whatever it is, or if we don't have a balance and we're trading more than what it costs, we'll get the balance as extra so we can trade for other things and you don't need to trade over an item if you've got balance uh, it's just I'm doing this for an example for you guys so as you can see we've got the th one version for this but two versions for the um, ooh, what's it called I don't remember Mecha Industries I'm pretty sure yep two different versions and the stat the float is 0 0.06 one for this one and it's 50 cents more than the 0 0.068 so a bit of a difference there, but we're going to go with this. Um, as you can see, we've got a minus nineteen dollars here, which is just going to come from our balance. So we're going to have five dollars left on our balance after this. I might actually check for things that are five dollars. And here we go. We've got a four dollar ninety six P two fifty. Anything else? This I don't think I've seen before in game. And if you click on the more information thing, if they've got stickers and stuff, it actually tells you right here how much is added on because of the sticker. So this is a Star Ladder Berlin 2019 player signature sticker. And it has added 10 cents to it. But uh, a CS2000. CS2000. CS20 collection, so I actually might get that one. That doesn't look too bad. Where did it go? Here we go. Let's have a quick look below because I don't want to miss out anything. So as you can see, yep, well, it's nine cents more than this one. Uh, this one's a lower float. I'm not too concerned about stickers. Let's have a look at the 3D view so I can show you guys that. And the gun's invisible. I'm kidding. There we go. So we can look for any damage on this specific item. Um, this is actually a... So after checking out the weapon, we can actually move this across here and it will change what the skin looks like on the specific float. So uh, as you can see, it's all right there. We're going to flick it right up here to Battle Scarred and we'll have a look at it and see all the... Uh... Should have all the scratches along here, but I think this one just gets darker mostly. There you go. You can see the scratches there. We'll go back to a perfect skin brighter and yeah nowhere anyway going back we're going to add this one to our cart and now it's going to be minus 23 our balance after this trade is going to be 35 cents all right let's do it so I'm gonna hit this trade button and it's gonna work out getting the items to me Now, because we've selected two different items, we might receive two trades. Um, when it's just one, I know it trades from one bot to the other. So here, we can see right here. Um, this is the process. Of course, if you're not going to do this, just cancel it. Um, but it's trading over this skin first, probably using our balance. And then we're going to trade over the... Um, Orp for the Desert Eagle. So I'm going to just click on Steam for these. Yes. And there's an error because I know Steam's down. So I'm just going to click it a few times. This isn't it doesn't have to do with the website. Every night for since COVID, basically, uh, the Steam inventory has been going down. So there's that item. And we'll get the next one. So this is the one that we're 
There we go. <laughs> Just clicking it, nothing was happening. Uh, I didn't realize it was minimized. Here we go. Okay, so we're trading our AWP over. We can check the float if we want in game, but I'm not going to do that for you guys. <laughs> the two floats are very similar. Um, and I already know that it's going to be fine once it trades over. Uh, this one requires mobile authentication, so let's quickly do that. And while that's happening, I'll open up Steam, not Steam, Counter-Strike, so we can actually see the skins in-game. So I'll open that up. We'll switch over to that in a minute. I'm just confirming this trade right now. There we go. And once this loads, we should see them both. Inventory. There's our Desert Eagle looking very nice. I really like that Deagle skin. And a little P250. This looks nice. The 57 in uh, that collection has a little CT person at the very back on the like the very back on the top, so like right here. It's a little little funny, I think. Anyway, so that's cs.money remember use the link in the description get your free trial and trade your items for items that you actually want it's a great way to skip that 17 percent tax that uh, you have on the steam marketplace if we flick back over to cs money give me one second there we go uh, so it's saying it's confirmed now. If we flip back here, we can actually see the cost it costs us to transfer money over from one side to the other. It's I believe it's in your profile. I'm not going to go there because it's got all my information and email. But uh, yeah, you can see how much it costs you basically. Uh, it should also say it here. So we've got between 5 and 7% on that trade. Um, it was 7% for me, but if you put the cs.money into your steam account it goes down to five percent just so you guys know that so yep use the link in the description subscribe leave me a thumbs up so i know you guys are like yes i'm here or you're here i'm here and i'll see you guys next video